Alright guys, what is up today? Today, I'm um, showing you guys how to find a good hunt squad. But first off, if you're not yet, go down and smash the subscribe button. So let's go ahead and get right into this video. Alright guys, first off right here, um, you want to look all, you have to get out in the woods to figure out where you want a good hunt squad. One of the first things to look for is either uh, a deer trail, which there's a picture right up there, and then deer food, which is right up there. So, um, let's, uh, deer trail, there could be a trail, it could be, it may not, you don't want to find a trail, it could be like a bay trail, a coyote trail, a coyote trail, you know, stuff like that. If you find a trail, look for deer food. Deer food is round, round little pebbles, that's a good sign as well. There's some more signs as well. So let's go ahead and uh, get into the other signs. Alright guys, the next sign, uh, two more is a buck drop and a buck straight. Uh, a buck drop is right here. Um, it's where they have like their, uh, they like scrape their antlers, they like rub their antlers, antlers on like trees and stuff, and you can like tell like where they like taking the bark and stuff off of. Um, Next up, right here, uh, there should be a picture of a scrape. What they do is they like find a spot and take like, uh, and it has to be like branches, like, not in bed, just small stuff like twigs that are hanging still. They'll rub their antlers up on these little twigs and then on the ground they'll take their feet and they'll like scrape, rub it out, and then they'll uh, pee on it and they'll come back every day and check it. That's a good time for a buck rub. For a buck scrape, my back. And a buck rub, like I was saying, they take from a tree where they rub their antlers on it. That's a good sign. Uh, the bigger the, the rub it is, uh, probably the bigger the buck as well. Which that is a good sign. So I just can hear a fireplace out there. Really loud. Next thing, I should have put it earlier, but uh, we'll go ahead and look at it right now. Okay, guys, the next thing right here, uh, two different deer you know, dudes. Go prints, like your footprints, and then you have a buck print. Uh, a buck print is a bit different because it has a dot on it. Uh, a go print would be this one, and then a buck print would be this one right here. So, um, there's those two right there. Uh, you, uh, hunt, uh, that take a spot. I like to stick with it for the year. I don't know. I'm just like a spot, I guess. I like to see if there's a big buck somewhere. I've been hunting the street stand. Um, and I'm just going to find a hundred yards away from it too. Um, I hunt that as well. I hunt that this year. But, um, like I said, it's like one spot. There's two spots. And then one to the shore. Um, I can't see if I'm on the bunker now. That's like what you would. But, um, there's that. Pretty basic trying to spot the hunt with um, up there and there. Uh, I don't know how true this is. If I could be wrong, I don't know. But I've heard that uh, we actually bred uh, bucks that were kind of losing their antlers in like a uh, little uh, bush, like a little bush. Um, I don't know how true that is. If you guys have any other tips uh, to find a good hunt spot, drop that down in the comments as well. Drop what you guys would like to see on the next rotation. Thank you.